In part one of this two-part series, we covered some of the basics of distributor-style ignition systems. Even though these ignition systems are a vestige of a bygone era, there are plenty of sales opportunities for the many vehicles on the road that still have distributor components. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Let's start with the obvious components, the distributor cap and rotor, spark plugs, and plug wires. Generally speaking, the condition of the cap, rotor, and wire can be determined through visual inspection. However, if it's time for a tune-up, a vehicle has a misfire, or the customer can't remember when they were done last, it's the perfect time to recommend these items. Regarding spark plugs, some late model vehicles that still have distributors have efficient fuel injection systems and engine controls, and the plugs will last for a long time. But for older vehicles with less efficient fuel and ignition systems, the plugs need to be replaced more often. OE style plugs are the best to recommend with any system. And if it's a classic that isn't driven as much, don't be afraid to recommend a fresh set. Now let's talk about points and condenser. When old cars were driven daily, points and condenser were replaced at least once a year, just because of the mileage. It's not necessary to do that now, since most cars with these systems don't see a whole lot of miles. But if your customer can't remember the last time they replaced these items, it's a perfect opportunity to recommend them. If your customer is just cleaning up the points and adjusting dwell, you could always sell them some basic tools, such as a point file, a dwell meter, a spark plug gauge, and a timing light. This should cover the standard maintenance requirements of a point style ignition system, and if they have electronic ignition, just the spark plug gauge and timing light will do. If your customer is performing an ignition tune-up, be sure to ask them about the condition of their distributor advanced components. Vacuum advanced diaphragms go bad from time to time, so they should be checked and replaced if necessary. Mechanical weights should be taken off and their pivot points should be cleaned and lubricated. In many cases, the mechanical advanced weights pivot on bushings that commonly wear out, and the weights themselves can have grooves worn in them if they haven't been lubricated on a regular basis. Additional distributor components include seals and bushings and the electrical connectors that plug into them, also known as pigtail connectors. Finally, let's talk about dielectric grease. Don't let the name fool your customers. Dielectric grease does not conduct electricity. What it does is it seals electric components from moisture, which is why you can find it in a lot of electrical connectors and in bulb sockets. An added benefit is that when used on plug wire boots, it keeps moisture out, but also keeps the boot from sticking onto a spark plug or distributor cap, making removal much easier. Recommend a tube, not the little packets, and remind your customers about all the additional electronic uses for dielectric grease. I'm Josh Cable, thanks for watching.